Hey, my name's Cody. My name's Alyssa. We're Guy Meets Girl. And this is our home. Come on in. Welcome to the kitchen. This is our stove. We got stove up top, oven on the bottom, and we got a 60 gallon propane tank that lasts us quite a while, so that's really nice. Um, we, well, not we, Cody and our friend Doug, who built this bus, um, they installed this sink. It used to be a bucket, a round bucket, um, but it wasn't quite doing the job too great. So we got a new sink and it's little but it does the trick and then it also allows us to have some counter space which is nice for meals and prepping and all that. We got our spoons, knives and forks up here just in little little cups because that's cute. We didn't design any of this so we literally can't take credit for pretty much anything. Um, it's all Cindy and Doug, the people who created this lovely schoolie. Shout out to you guys. Right here's our monitor. We are able to check our fresh water, which is really low. We got to fix that in our gray tank, which is really full. That's reality for you. <laughs> um, and then we can also see how good our charge is on the bus, the battery and everything. So that's nice. We turn on our water pump here and then we can have water that splashes everywhere. We got a lot of cabinet space here, which we're really thankful for in this RV fridge, which is my pride and joy. It's an RV fridge which is really nice because the size of it we have a lot of space for food and stuff like that. Something kind of not the best about it and I think this is just how bus life can be in general but if we're on a tilt sometimes if it's enough of a tilt it won't work and so then all of our food will go bad which stinks because we need food. But other than that, it's great. We just got to be careful about parking on slants that are a bit too slanted. So in here we have a bunch of um, just seasonings and canned goods, plates, bowls, and vitamins and cups, stuff like that. Just every everything you would need. Um, and then same thing in the other cabinets, but these are just nice to open. And this is our microwave. We don't use it that often, but it is nice for a bag of popcorn when we want it or if we're staying at like a KOA or a campground that has a plug-in, we're more likely to use it, but obviously for off-grid or something, it kind of doesn't work. This over here was a huge standout to us when we first saw the bus. Just it's it's just cool to have something here where you could fill it up with all of your favorite goodies. We got coffee, tea, Cereals and popcorn. It's cute and functional, so. Come close. <laughs> so this guy right here, um, probably the best find ever. We have a five gallon water jug under here, and this guy just goes straight to it. And when you push this button, it's electric, and it just turns on, and it lights up, and it is just a godsend. It really is, so highly recommend Amazon $12. So, um, it all happened kind of to us, I'd say, and timing is everything. So many things fell into place and aligned for us to make the jump onto this bus. And then what was amazing is just the way life all played out. Uh, there was like eight or nine things that all had to like all simultaneously fall into place. Yeah. Um, but they all happened and it almost felt like we, it was like destiny, like we felt kind of pushed onto the bus and all of the things that when I was researching it and having conversations with people that I knew were either living this life or the owner, when I was asking them questions about things, they would tell me certain things like, hey, you know, maybe make sure that you have an exit strategy if, um, you know, in case this isn't for you and you, def you finally decide that after a few months, make sure you have a plan. And that, like, happened really easily. And, um, you know, our, our music, we're musicians, and um, all of our gigs that we had, we had all these wedding gigs all plotted out. So mm -hmm. if we were wanting to travel, it was all going to be kind of yeah. very uh, hard financially. But instead, all of those got canceled well, because of also, COVID. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, would, it would also be hard 
around um, just trying to find the time. Like, we'd have to base mm -hmm. our travels around the gigs. And, I mean, travel really wasn't anything that, I don't know, I would say either of us were crazy passionate about or into or anything. It literally just fell into our laps. And then all of a sudden, we're like, whoa, we love this. Um, so with the bus and our gigs getting canceled and everything just kind of, like Cody was just saying, everything just kind of fell right into place and, and lined up. And it happened really easily, um, like weirdly easily. So um, we're, we're believers in God and we, we really believe that he kind of pushed us on here. Gentle nudge. All right, so welcome to the living room. This is uh, where it really feels like home and where we spend a lot of our time and watch some movies and uh, relax or have a guest if we need. Uh, we just kind of convert the couch a little bit. The couch itself is awesome because it has so much uh, DIY love put into it. So the, the owners before us did an amazing job uh, creating these. So these are like uh, really comfortable almost like foam, memory foam, and then there's a board on the bottom and they've just kind of stapled the cloth to it and they did that really well. Uh, they made these cushions, they made the curtains, and uh, it, it's just unbelievably comfortable and, and fun to hang out with. It looks really pretty. We love the color scheme and, and everything along those lines. So um, under here is some of our more valuable possessions. It's got our you know, backup toiletries like extra shampoo or or that kind of stuff. Um, some like puzzles and some kind of random stuff you're not really using all the time. This is kind of like what we use as our deciding space um, when we're deciding. Really, are we going to keep this on the bus? Are we going to are we going to um, hold on to this for the next five months, or are we going to go put it back in storage when we're home? And uh, that's kind of what we use this under area for. But really, it's, it's not the uh, most convenient thing to get to. So if there's anything I don't love about the couch, it would probably be that. I think it could be designed a little bit more efficiently to, to get to, um, you know, if you're going to use this. But that's, I think, why we use it in the way that we do. It's, it's very um, infrequently used. So that's kind of, I think, why it's, it's gained that purpose. On the other side here is nice, too. They, this is great too that they have, we, we put a voltage meter in here and it has USB ports and it's got uh, the 12 volt for like a car charger, like a cigarette lighter. Um, we also got this when we were in Waco, Texas and this is just kind of a nice little catch all for all of our like electronics and cords and all the stuff that rumbles and flies around when you're driving. We love also the wood design, so all these different colored planks uh, just makes it really have some character to it, and uh, we, we really love that about these couches. And it was one of the first things we saw when we uh, saw like pictures on Facebook Marketplace. That's how we found the bus. But the couches was kind of the first thing we saw, and then obviously the kitchen is just an amazing viewpoint as well. And and it really just caught us off guard. We were like, holy cow, how is this a bus? Moving on to our overhead storage. So these are just kind of really nice areas to put some of the more commonly used items as you're living throughout your day. Um, for us though, we use this whole back area to store a lot of our recording equipment because we're musicians and we've got some, it doesn't always uh, move the best. That's uh, when you make them custom, I guess that's kind of how it goes. but. Um, we've got like, you know, our headphones and uh, this is how, how we record into our uh, computer and our piano pedal and stuff like that. So this is a great catch for, for just keeping all this out of the way, but when we need it, we can just grab it really quick and easy. On this side is a lot of our books, so if we ever do some reading, we like to think we read, but we don't read all the time. Um, but we've, we keep a couple books here that we're going through. I keep my N64 games here, so I got Mario Kart, Mario Party, all, all the classics, and like the controllers, so it kind of keeps that out of um, just kind of the rumble zone of everything flying around. Um, and then this side doesn't really have much, uh, it's, actually yeah it does, this is our game area. So this is where we've put a bunch of our fun games, um, Monopoly Deal is a pretty fun game. I really like cards. I actually, uh, I used to do some magic. I'll show you something crazy and quick. Ready? 
So ready? <laughs> I used to do magic, just very like random. Um, this is actually a really cool story. So this big letter bananagrams was actually created for Alyssa's grandmother. Um, she has where her her eyes. Um, it's like she's looking through a straw almost. The um, the disease she has, where it's it's kind of uh, just really honed in on her vision. So she loved this game so much, but at a certain point, the letters were too small, so she wasn't really capturing, she was writing, spelling words, but they'd be tons of misspelled words in there because she thought it was a letter that it wasn't. So the she, they reached out to the company and they actually developed this big letter bananagrams in her honor. And uh, they gave us a set too, and it was just kind of a really cool story and um, really special to us. So that's. Bananagrams is a really fun game, but even more special to me and Alyssa for that reason. We play it with her every time we go visit her too, so that's really fun. So that's our game area. Um, underneath we also have these tap lights, and these are really nice. Um, they're a little low on energy right now, but when they're brand new batteries, they're like crazy bright. And that's really nice to use because uh, it doesn't really pull on any of our battery, and it, it's just kind of... Um, a really nice thing. We can also just kind of snap them off and use them if we just need a flashlight or if, uh, I don't know, if none of the power was working. That's kind of a good emergency plan. Uh, also, we love these fans. They do pull on the battery a lot. At least we thought they did, but we just replaced our whole battery system, so maybe it's not so bad. But um, they have a low and a high setting, and they're just like that classic bus fan. Uh, so what's amazing about that though is uh, we have a heater that we're storing, but when that heater works, it just basically pools hot air right here. And you could just feel it right here a lot, but when we can push it back to the rest of the bus, it's awesome. So that location, that fan's amazing. So this is uh, something that we were really excited to add to the bus. This is our home gym area. We um, were looking for something that would not take up way too much space but allow us to still do a lot of the moves and things that we were seeing in workout videos that um, you know we wanted to keep working on so we found this and this is an amazing stair stepper that'll fold out and get a little bit taller and then this part will actually uh, go to different incline levels so that way you can use it like a workout bench um, it's got some storage in here, and then it's also got these hooks here for workout bands that you can put in and then use it that way as well. Uh, so we just thought this was a genius design and fit perfectly for a bus, literally and figuratively, because it actually fit just down to the last inch right here. Like, it, it doesn't even <laughs> move back or forth at all. Uh, additionally, I'll, I'll show you these as well. So these were one of my first purchases. When I knew I was doing the bus, this was something I really wanted to get. It's one of these dumbbells where it dials in and you can change it. And when you pull it, it'll just take the weight that you, that you specify. And um, that's been really nice to save space, but still allow us to, to do the right weight for the right workouts. So um, that was one of the first things I bought when I knew I was doing this life. Um, because I wanted to still have something with me here, but not have it weigh a ton and not take up a bunch of space. So highly recommend something like this um, if you're wanting to just kind of keep, keep active and keep lifting and um, doing everything that you can to stay fit since your space is very limited on a bus. <laughs> so the AC here, um, when we are plugged in, it really kicks out a lot of really nice cold air. The one thing we're not super well set up for is if we're not plugged in, we can't really use this. It would trip our circuit. So uh, luckily we can just open up windows and do things that way. Crazy story about this is our cover for it. Uh, the first time we were driving around a lot with, with this uh, in Texas, we were driving around and we just heard like a boom, 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 boom. And I was like, what fell? That was crazy. But what happened was our cover ripped off and it rolled across our hood and fell somewhere along the, the interstate. So sorry if that hit anybody or I, I sure hope that they didn't. But, you know, when we pulled over because somebody, somebody actually pulled up next to us and was like, they were pointing up and they're going like this. And we're like, we thought they were just like saying hi and the cool bus, but they were like 
<laughs> they were trying to tell us your AC cover flew off and is down by the side of the road. And uh, I pull over and Alyssa gets out of the bus and all I can see is her facial expression. And she was just like, it was like one of those jaw dropping moments. That was really funny. All right, so over here, um, one really cool thing is this, this light is really pretty and uh, just, just in a really nice addition. It really fits the color scheme. Uh, this is a nice side table. And then over here we have where we store our guitar and piano for when we're uh, working on songs. Uh, but we, lo we love this space just to kind of hold that behind here. And, and even further back is where we have like Swiffers and some cleaning supplies or um, if we need to just store some things, we have like a ring light for whenever we're making a YouTube video. And we just felt that was a good place to, to put things that we're not using very frequently. Additionally, and we'll get to this a little bit later, but we have um, some drying, clothes drying racks as well. So they're, they stand up and they fold out in about three sections and they can hang a bunch of clothes to dry. And we left those there because we really don't use it much. We more so look for like the dryers at campgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, we haven't gotten that off grid yet. So we're excited to when that time comes, it feels more bus life and adventurous that way. So. Well, I think the pros are pretty obvious. You know, you get to travel anywhere, anytime. Um, you get to stay with places, with views like this, um, just looking at the ocean. You get to, I don't know, obviously, you know, be with your best friend, for in our case, and um, experience a bunch of new things for the first time together. I think that's really special. Uh, and. Yeah, so I think the pros are pretty obvious. Um, the cons, at first it was really hard being so far from friends and family. That was really hard for me. Um, but I think that that's something, it wouldn't matter where you move to. Um, if anything, I actually think that it's easier living on a bus and being away than being like planted somewhere else. Just because if I ever, if we ever miss, miss home, we can always go back. If we ever miss our family, we can always go back. So um, so that's nice. And we've visited friends and family a couple times now. And that's always very refreshing. Um, and honestly, like, I think, yeah, that was a big one. Okay, some of the cons are, I think, just, like, the gross stuff that happens. Yeah. Like, whether it's that your <laughs> toilets don't really flush into a main sewer well, and you're the, flush. I know, but I'm just saying like Arthur. you use the toilet and it smells all throughout the bus or when you're draining your gray tank, like you're having to deal with that hands on where when you're at a home, it kind of all just disappears yep. and it, you know, <laughs> like this you have to be very aware of. And, yeah. you know, there's, there's almost that side of things too, if I were to speak of almost a con, it, it becomes really manageable and easy, so it's a really small one, but it's just that you're very aware of your water consumption yeah. and how much you have left, and you're very aware of your energy, your, you know, your electricity, you're very aware of your sewage and all that, yeah. so um, it's just like an added thing to be aware of. That being said, it's really not that hard and it was really doable and we learned that very quickly just with the one or two nights that we stayed um, initially. I love all my friends and family but I get to come see them again and in addition you you gain such a new community and family and friends too and um, you, you reconnect with people when you're passing through a state and you just know that they live there and you reach out to them and sometimes you have the most amazing experiences with them. So that's been a huge pro for me is these, these new encounters and um, out of everything that we've traveled and seen, the most amazing thing to me keeps coming back to the people. Um, yeah. We were in Niagara Falls and that was beautiful and amazing, but the most memorable and exciting thing to that was the people we met. We met some amazing people there. Um, and as we've traveled, we kept feeling that, you know, as much as we're experiencing these beautiful places, the people were um, what really made it special. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, honestly, there's not 
There's really not too many cons, like not not any cons that would be worth not doing this for. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely worth it. We tell everyone that that we talk to about bus life. If you ever get the chance, if you're ever able to make it happen or like just go for it, go for it. You're not going to mm -hmm. regret it. And it's it's a once in a lifetime thing and you're going to have experiences that you never would have had otherwise. And, um, and it's just so special. It's so special. So if you ever get the chance, hands down, yeah. do it. Um, all right. So this is our washer. We don't ever really use it. We tried using it once. And the reason we don't use it is one, it takes like all of our water and a lot of electricity to use it. Um, but also it's, a, I think it's supposed to double as a dryer. I think because there's like a air dry setting, but it doesn't. So um, when we tried it out that first time, we had to like hang everything outside and it all like got really hard. So we're like, mm, we're just gonna use laundromats. Um, so we've been doing that, but up here, we got some uh, just storage stuff, Q-tips, um, extra toothpaste, stuff like that, hats, our iron. Um, and that's really it for this area. So I'm gonna take you back to the closet. Downsizing was really hard with a lot of clothing. So I personally am the type of person that just kind of compiles a bunch of clothing. So back when we were living in our home, um, I had a lot. It was like, our closet was 80-20. And I was the 80 and Cody was the 20. So when we bought the bus, um, that had to change very fast. And so we got rid of a lot of stuff, and I did really good, but um, not good enough to where we still have a big bin back there filled with some things. And then all of our hangers are the ones that have, like, the five... Here, I'll show you. They're these kinds. So you put five things here, and then you release it. And it's great. It's great for this type of lifestyle because you can keep <laughs> some clothing... <laughs> So then we got a lot of drawers here. Bottom three are mine. Top two are Cody's. Um, but that's just how it goes. <laughs> right here we have our laundry basket. And actually, if you would, if I could show you this one more time. It also doubles as another laundry basket. So that's kind of what we do here. And then um, we have some shoes under there. Under the bed we have more storage. Um, we keep our shoes under there as well. I have a lot of shoes, man. I really tried. I did good. We're still working on it. All right, come on back. <laughs> this is our bedroom. Welcome. Um, love these little touches of the little fairy lights all around. Um, at nighttime, it just makes it feel very magical and peaceful and nice. Um, this is a king size bed, which hmm, we are so thankful for it. I'm the type of sleeper where I just like sprawl out. Up here, we have some more cabinets. Um, where we just keep, we have um, some books in here and journals and then some more clothing in there and all that. Um, and then that's my little corner of stuff. Got my toothbrush. I got my deodorant because we like to smell good. All right, so welcome to our shower. Uh, so this is a really wonderful design. Basically, one of the best parts about this is how easy it is to turn the water on and off to save the water consumption, um, that being like gold on a bus. So it has this military style stopper up here and when you stop, uh, when you push this button it'll stop the water. It's awesome. Um, additionally it has a swivel up here so this can really, um, me and, and my height have no problem totally using this, feeling totally comfortable and like I have plenty of space. Uh, it does a really great job. We haven't been brave enough to fill up these containers yet, but I love that they're there because, uh, you know, it, it just would keep things really clean and not have bottles all over the floor like this. Um, but we haven't been brave enough because we're worried if we ever hit too hard of a bump, it would come off and then we'd have soap everywhere and that'd be terrible. Um, but we love that those are there. I think they're genius. Um, Additionally, there's a fan up top, and that really helps with either, either just pulling out humidity from while the shower's going, all that steam, um, or we run our AC back here as well. Okay, and here's what we call the throne room. This is our toilet and our sink, which um, 
we've recently found out that having an extra sink in a bus is a huge plus, and we certainly use it all the time, so we're very happy for it. Um, as well as our, our front sink is kind of used when, when we're driving, we throw so much stuff in there to m not make it bounce around. So when we do pull over and need a sink, it's nice to have this one available. Um, we got some storage underneath. We've got this really fun and funky, fancy mirror. It looks like one of those, uh, those, uh, punching gloves from like the old cartoons. Medicine cabinet back here. And then this toilet is nice. It, it's uh, got a fan constantly pulling the air out so that it doesn't smell. And it separates into two sections. So there's a spot to use number two and number one. And when you sit down on the seat, it opens up a trap door there. So that's pretty exciting about the toilet. It works really well and fits the lifestyle nicely. They also built this right over our wheel well. So um, it was a great place for it because you're sitting when you use the toilet for the most part. Unless you're a guy, but I've uh, I've handed that over to to make it all work for the bus life. Um, additionally, the other wheel well here has the original heater, and that'll um, still heat this back area, which is really nice as well. All right, so check out the outside of our bus. So. Uh, one amazing thing we did right when we got the bus is we put this RV door in, watched a couple YouTube videos, made it work, uh, but very happy about that, despite the fact that we can't see through our windows, so we have to rely on each other to let us know when we need to turn right if we, uh, if we can't see what's coming. Um, but yeah, we, we had a great time painting this in Texas. We spray painted it ourselves, and it took us about a month and a half. We hand sanded it with like orbital sanders and took forever. Um, under here is where we have our battery bank, a spare tire, and just some, some good storage for a lot of our like outdoor mechanical stuff, tools and such. Yeah, those are some new tires. We, we had some tire problems, uh, but thank God we pulled into a gas station uh, just because we really needed gas and it happened to have a full-blown tire shop and it was just like, amazing uh, and they noticed that there was two bulges on our tires and they were like this close to bursting and we were able to get some new ones so love our tires that we got um, this is where you'll fill up our diesel tank it's a 60 gallon tank we get 11 miles to the gallon this is where uh, we can just kind of wash our feet off after being on this on the sand so that's a really nice little outdoor spigot so back here, this is our, our rig for towing our car. Um, so we just have this drop trailer here, and this, is, this was welded onto the bus. It has uh, two spots to hold this rack, which we didn't bring it with us, but we do also have a moped, and that's pretty fun. And down here we have uh, just a dolly for our car that's hung in there. So um, I showed the banana grams in there earlier that were customly developed for Alyssa's grandmother. She has macular degeneration, and uh, her, when her eyesight became too, um, too poor to drive, it was amazing, but she gifted Alyssa this car, um, so now it's seen so much. So it's kind of an amazing uh, piece of our history that we bring with us that we're so grateful for. So here's where we, uh, when we meet somebody that we want to just remember their story or trade uh, information with, sometimes they have stickers and they'll We'll slap that on here to remember them by. Um, we haven't made our own sticker yet, but when we do, we'll be trading them with those, those people as well. This is our ladder to get to the top. And additionally, um, something fun that was added to this bus were these rocket lights on the corners. And those were kind of a really nice touch that uh, the owner did. And it looks really kind of retro-y and, and pretty awesome and had a great look about the bus. Over here is going to be all of our uh, RV components. So this is where we hook up to electric. It has our hot water heater. This is also our water connection. So this is where we can fill up or connect to city water. And then this is a furnace for the heater that's built in, like the bus already had this heater in it, and our, as well as our gray tank dump. And that's just about it. Otherwise, um, 
Over here is a 60 gallon propane tank as well as two that you can attach. So in all we can have up to about 80 to um, 80 or 100 gallons of propane on us at any point. Okay, so another um, big reason why we're on the bus and what actually made it kind of possible was um, our music. So we're musicians and we have a cover of a song that kind of took off on TikTok. And it's a cover of Send Me On My Way by Rusted Root. And we actually put the song out through like a distributing platform to kind of blast it to Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, TikTok, all the things. Um, as like a tester and a placeholder for our name. We're called Guy Meets Girl. And we just put it out there just to secure our name so that no one else could take that name before we released our original Christmas song. And it's so funny because we didn't promote that at all. And then all of a sudden on TikTok, um, people just found it and started using it. And I think there's like over 400,000 videos made on TikTok. And then our streams on Spotify like bled into all of our streams for that. And that's at like 7 million. So that happening really made this possible. So that's a huge reason um, why we're on this bus right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it really blew our mind. It really did. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. It gave us the confidence we needed to make that jump. And, um, you know, I think we could have done things really smart and wise and, and been a lot more cost effective in our traveling. But what we've done is we've really aggressively traveled all through the U.S. So this was actually like the end of our huge, we did a couple loops, keep, you know, with Chicago as our home base. We did a couple loops and this was really the last of all of the U.S. that we really wanted to see and check out and get a feel for before we'd like go and spend some more time in, in different areas. And, um, you know, during doing that was pretty costly because we were moving very fast. We were paying a lot in gas, we were paying a lot at campsites, and we were, um, you know, going through tolls, and we were, we were doing all these things that, um, you know, we just wanted to experience so much, and we just, we had this window in life where we had that freedom, and we can make it happen, and we're, we just decided to go with it, and um, that was how we first started living out of this, and, and we keep learning more and more, and this weekend alone, has taught us so much about just boondocking and saving money. So I'm really excited for that piece of it too. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, what happened with our music was that confidence we needed to, to give us, um, yeah. get us on here where we were having some sort of remote income. Yeah. Um, you want to tell them about girl? it? Yeah. So on Instagram, we're Guy Meets Girl Official. And then on YouTube, where Guy Meets Girl, if you tag the official on the end, it'll, I'm, I think it'll pop up quicker. Um, maybe not. Uh, oh, wait, that was a big part of why we're on the bus. It is. Well, why don't we say that? Can we say? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. So if you want to hear the song, it's our cover of Send Me On My Way by Rusted Root. If you just look up Send Me On My Way, Guy Meets Girl, it should pop right up. Mm -hmm. There's a YouTube video on it that's really fun. Um, it takes place in the fall time we're throwing leaves and it's just a pretty magical video. It was really fun to, to make. We also have some original music, uh, so definitely check those out too and then a couple other covers as well. So we hope you like it. Um, if you want to find us on YouTube, just look up Guy Meets Girl. On Instagram, our page is at Guy Meets Girl Official. So you can find us there. Same thing on Facebook. Um, we're also on TikTok, and honestly, all the things. So come find us. We'd love to talk to you. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us on our tour. And uh, we really enjoyed showing you just what life is like for us. We are musicians, and um, we'd love for you guys to connect with us. Hopefully, we'll see you on the road. But just in case we don't, please follow us. Watch our music channel. All right, thanks for joining us. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our home, and God bless you. Yeah, connect with us later. Oh, my God. Why do I talk? <laughs>